Good day, friends and clients. I just uh, great to be with you again. I just recorded uh, a quarter one update from markets a uh, few minutes ago and uh, referenced this these types of connections too that we're making with with you, which is our uh, once or twice a week updates, just relaying some some uh, fresh information and uh, what we do with this information and how it translates into how we help you plan and the way we look at the markets. So what's new this week? Uh, Florida is back to work, right? Phase one of uh, the plan has been executed here in, in Florida, which is great. I saw the traffic pick up a little bit this morning, which was wonderful to see. So what's happening at the moment, we have electric, elective surgeries uh, back on. Uh, uh, Dr. Kleins loves this. Uh, business is kind of going to start picking up for them again. Uh, restaurants can offer indoor seating at 25% of the capacity, as well as um, outside seating six feet apart. I think if you like me, uh, I'm starting to urge a restaurant meal. Uh, healthy eating is good, but uh, restaurant food is not bad either. Retail stores can open up about 25% capacity. And unfortunately, bars and gyms and uh, hair salons, I don't know about you, but it's getting kind of getting, uh, our hair is getting long here. Still not open. Hopefully it will open around about phase two. So uh, if you look at the stock market, how's the stock market reacting to this? It's kind of crazy. It's up and down, up and down still. Uh, last week, <clears throat> markets for the week was trending positive until Friday happened and pretty much wiped out the, the positive returns for the week. Um, normally, when you see the kind of unemployment numbers that were coming out at the moment, the markets would freak out. But the markets are expecting unemployment numbers to be very, very high. The markets are expecting the earnings reports from companies to be way off uh, the original intended numbers. So markets are still fi fixating very much on the, this phase one, two, and three, and how often and how much people are getting back to work. Um, we're keeping a close eye on the amount of new cases that's coming out. Every now and then we do see a spike in new cases uh, in Florida. Over the weekend, that was not such a good day. But uh, overall, Florida is trending well, and uh, here we are, phase one. So here's a little bit of this perspective. If you had half a million dollars in the stock market in the beginning of the year, and you had 70% in stock and 30% in bonds, uh, you're towards the end of March, your account would have been down to $392,000. Today, markets have recovered nicely. You'd be at about $470,000, close to where you were uh, before. If you're starting to think about how you could put stabilizers into your portfolio, different types of ideas that will enable you to maybe not go as much down as what the stock market would do, and you still want upside potential, then I will urge you to schedule a 15-minute conversation with us where we can start walking through with you some options that you have. We have several options of different investment ideas that can help you do that. We call them stabilizers, bringing a little bit more predictability into your plan. And this is extremely important, especially if you are five years or sooner away from retiring. Um, our investment committee had another great meeting this week. We were discussing a lot of different market movements. Uh, we started phasing a little bit more money back into the markets in some of our conservative portfolios, and we'll be uh, doing so most probably next week or two. We're keeping a close eye on seeing if there would be a secondary downturn uh, as uh, possibly put there if we take too much time to get back to work. So if there's a prolonging and the amount of time it takes to get back to work, uh, we start seeing the markets probably trending down. So uh, as always, uh, feel free to reach out to us, schedule a 15 minute or 25 minute conversation to do a quick review of your accounts. If you've got any questions, these meetings have been extremely productive for our clients. Uh, a lot of Friends, family members uh, have big question marks on their foreheads. They don't have the comfort of knowing that they have an advisor or even a plan that gives them confidence. Please pass this message on, as well as uh, a lot of our other materials we have developed to be able to be of help to those that we can help. Uh, because of the fact that we're working with you, we're happy to schedule a 15 or 25 minute conversation with any of your friends and family members that we can answer any questions for them on that are real specific. Also, you'll see a lot of additional information made available through Facebook, as well as our YouTube channel. Uh, you can reach our YouTube channel on our website, or just plug in Life Wealth Group on YouTube, and you'll be able to pick up our videos, very informative videos, um, and we'll continue to be able to make them. 
Here we have converted one of our conference rooms into a, a movie studio, if you would. That's how we all make these videos, and he's very, very creative with them all. So great to be with you today. I look forward to touching base again a little bit later in the week. Have a great rest of the week and stay safe.